Okay, hi everybody, my name is Art by Raymond Mayer. Um, you can find me on TikTok, on Clapper, and here on YouTube. What I'm going to be doing today is a pour, an acrylic pour from this blue cup. So I'm going to layer my colors that are pre-mixed in this cup and pour to the canvas. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. I have picked uh, a, like a lake blue, uh, thalo canine blue, and a dioxanine purple. These colors are both in Master's Touch and Liquitex Basics, oh, as well as titanium white. So I pre-mixed those, and I mix a one-to-one -one ratio of paint to Elmer's School Glue. And I add a little bit of distilled water to thin it out. So once you've done that, you should have a consistency that's like, looks like pudding to the, to the uh, visible, visibility of like the surface. And then when you lift it, it should run off your stick, build slightly on the top, and then become one with the rest of the paint, okay? Once you have that, you know you have your what you're looking for as far as your mix. So now I'm going to start layering paint uh, colors. I don't have any silicone added at this time, so make sure that you do not either for the same kind of results. I'm just going to layer some colors here. You can see because of the way we mixed it, the colors should sit on top of each other like this. I put a lot of the rest of this cup of white in here on top of that. And now I'm gonna start layering my purple. Really, that should probably be enough paint for this uh, pour already, but I'm going to do a full cup. I want that purple surrounded by white just for the sake of what it looks like when it comes out. It's pretty amazing. I do have my artwork here on a turntable, a Lazy Susan, um, so that I could evenly spin it out, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that at the time of the actual pour. some of this over the edges first. This is so that I make sure that all the corners and everything are covered. Even though I got a spinner, I still do this because this is habit. I come back in here and I like the idea this kind of pour. I like doing little circles until I'm through. So this is what you would do for a ring pour generally. I like 
from that purple and blue that's popping up there. I'm going to drag this over, and I'm going to come back here and do more. I like abstract so I might just like do this kind of thing here just to add more depth to the overall piece we'll find out how that looks after it's all said and done but so far so good there's a lot of paint on this little canvas so let's get some of that off of there but but first now here's where I add my artist loft brand silicone oil guys I get some on my fingertips, put in a spray bottle, get some on my fingertips, and just go click, click, click. As simple as that for your cell creation. You don't need heat. Just get the right material. But let's add heat anyway and let's see what happens if uh, more of those. If it has more of a reaction, we'll find out here in a moment. You can see all the little cells popping up. Just added some heat. Now let's spin this. First time spinning it, so I'm not sure I like it. So I'm gonna tilt instead. There are some really beautiful cells on this I do not want to lose. I'm loving how this is turning out. I like the ribbon effect over here on this corner, just like I thought that was going to turn out really good, and it did, and is. And those cells look beautiful. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think I don't like the Lazy Susan as much as I thought I would, but uh, it is an absolute beautiful piece. I'll bring you guys down for a closer look as soon as I wash up my hands. Uh, but yeah.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. Let's take a closer look. Wow, that looks amazing. All right, I don't have editing software, so you guys are catching me tripping in there. But check this out. This is an 8 by 10 inch acrylic pour with absolute beautiful cell creation and layering in those cells just looks fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this. Drop me a follow, subscribe, and I cannot wait to see what you guys have on your channels. So uh, let me know and let me know if this helps you guys in any way, shape or form. Thanks.